YouTube, I'm Daver. And I'm Dave. <laughs> We're friends. <laughs> I want to be a pretty boy. Wow. <laughs> I don't know what the heck that was. Offensive. That's right. What it was. That's right. <laughs> anyway, coming back at you now, again. TMA. TMA. This time with another fragrance from Thierry Mugler. The, uh, another uh, stepchild. Yeah. From the fragrance line. Yeah. Iceman. Yeah, Iceman. Set her up front. All right, let's get to it. <clears throat> Date introduced is 2007. Mm -hmm. It is classified as a woody orma aromatic. Uh, notes are nutmeg, patchouli, 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 musk, and woodsy notes. Cheaper. Yeah. <laughs> the uh, let's see. What'd you get on longevity? Uh, you know, it's about average. It's a fresh yeah. scent, so. You get what you expect out of that. Yeah. So you know what I'm gonna say. I'm gonna say above average for a fresh scent. Okay. Because actually the dry down came a little bit later, unexpectedly. Okay. And uh, it lasted longer than a lot of a lot of those in that family will. So. Yeah. You know, above average I'd say. Yeah, I would say this is average. I mean, it is kind of hard to judge a fresh scent on on longevity versus like like tobacco vanille. Yeah. Or something like or, that. Or, or, or Angel are, Man. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> but I would still have to say. Based on like number of hours, like people people do, I would still say it's probably in the average category. Yeah. But again, for a fresh scent, you can't complain. Yeah. Do because, you really want much more than that? Yeah, probably not. Yeah. Uh, what about projection? And below average. For, yeah. Not that great. Yeah. I probably have to agree. This this, I got usually either average or poor. Yeah. So I would probably say this is probably more on the poor side. Yeah. Um. So frustrating a little bit. Yeah. But yeah. You know. But hey. But hey. But hey. <laughs> <laughs> Season is. I would say this is spring, maybe summer. Mm -hmm. It's uh, marketed as a summer fragrance, yeah. which is weird to me. Why so? Well, summer fragrances you think of something refreshing, something clean, something uh, bright, mm -hmm. uh, watery, um, citrusy stuff like that. Yeah. Uh, this, not so. No. I'm gonna spray it while you're talking. It's a very, I would say it's a very unique take on a summer fragrance, mm -hmm. but I don't know if I would wear it during summer. I don't know. I'd have to see. Yeah. Um, purpose. I'd say probably the only thing for purpose is casual. Yeah. Maybe work, but mostly casual. Yeah. To me, this screams outdoors. Okay. Uh, to me, it does smell like a good summer scent. Spring to summer, I think it should be outdoors. I don't think you're going to wear that in the office. Yeah. I don't think that conveys the thing you want to convey in the office setting. Yeah. You know what I mean? doesn't yeah. really say professional. doesn't really say respectable. It says more like, I can spike a volleyball. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> that's right. So. But that's what the, yeah, that's, you're right. It totally yeah. does that. <laughs> uh, let's see, what does this remind you of? Um, you know, it kind of reminds me of like, a, it reminds me a lot of body wash. Yeah. Um, or like men's body wash, men's like a combination hair wash, body wash. Yeah. It also kind of reminds me a little bit of like the cheap suave shampoos. Yeah. You know, I don't know. I mean, I get I get some of the notes in there. Like I get some, I get a little bit of that nutmeg. Yeah. And the patchouli, I get that. But to me, it just kind of comes off like this sort of clean, sh showered up sort of thing. Yep. And a little a little high on the um, synthetic side too. Oh yeah, yeah, definitely. <laughs> so. Um. This re really reminds me of cheap deodorant. Yeah, like spray and, deodorant almost. Yeah. yeah, 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 exactly, yeah. It has, it, it is very clean smelling, mm -hmm. which is kind of strange for a, a note lineup like this. Yeah. And um, I do get some coffee in there, mm -hmm. but it's kind of a different type of coffee. Yeah. I'm not really sure. I do get the nutmeg. Mm -hmm. This has kind of a, um, like, for what it says it's supposed to do, it, I think it works. Yeah. Because it's ice man, it's supposed to be a really cooling effect. And yeah. I do get that when I wear it. Totally. It does actually really kind of have a cooling effect. It sure does. Um, uh, the nutmeg is really prominent in this. Um, a lot of people say this is a patchouli bomb. And I, I guess I would agree, I guess. I mean, it doesn't, it's not, I would say Angel Man is a patchouli bomb. I would too. This is more like a patchouli pop rock. <laughs> a patchouli M80. That's right. <laughs> That's right. Patchouli firecracker. That's right. <laughs> um, this, the, I mean, there is patchouli in this, yeah. okay, but it's not like, 
It's not like you smell this and you think, oh man, I need to wear a tie dye shirt. Yeah, no, I mean, you know, it's to me it comes off like kind of like an Axe body spray or something yeah. like that. It smells a lot cheaper than what it ought to be. Yeah, yeah. And you know, I'm sure that's not what they intended. <laughs> yeah. But. Uh, this starts off kind of bitter and fresh and cooling and very sharp. Yeah. Which I think is neat. Yeah. Um, it's pretty light and transparent and it nearly disappears mm -hmm. after a couple of uh, a couple of minutes, yeah. but it's still there. Yeah. But it just dies down really quick, or there's something in there that just kind of disappears and comes back up every once in a while. Yeah. Um, the patchouli doesn't smell dirty, which I think is good mm -hmm. because this patchouli smells dirty. Yeah. And I don't I don't particularly like that. Yeah. But this patchouli smells on the on the clean side. Yeah. Uh, which is nice. Yeah. Um, the coffee note is garbage, of course, like typical Thierry Mugler. Yeah. Um, I get some musk in there and almost like an aluminum note. Yes. Or something. That's like metallic it's, it's about it. really metallic. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. But I kind of like that though. I do too. I do too. The, the funny thing about this fragrance to me is, for me, when it got to the dry down, you don't anticipate a lot of dry downs in fresh fragrances. Right. For the most part. Right. Yeah. Sometimes there almost is none. Yeah. So, to me, the dry down got gourmandish. Yeah, I can see that. For me, I know it's weird. It caught me off guard, but it almost smelled like the chocolatey uh, sort of thing that Angelman has going on the dry down. Yeah. It was weird to me. I didn't see it coming, but maybe that's the ice men. You know, maybe that Angelman right. association, maybe it kind of pops up in the dry down with the patchouli. I don't know. It was good. It was a good yeah. dry down. Yeah. Surprised me. Um, I know a lot of people say this is like a watered down amen. I don't get that at all. Mm -hmm. um, I would say that this is probably what Angel Men, what they were trying to do with this is to try to make Angel Men's antithesis with similar ingredients. So what they were trying to do is they were trying to use ingredients that they used in Angel Men like coffee and patchouli mm -hmm. and musk and different things like that. But they turn that into its opposite, which is actually a fresh, light fragrance, as opposed to a dense, dark um, so kind, of, kind of like when you invert a photograph. Yeah, exactly. Whites become black, spikes become whites. Exactly, like a negative. Hmm, like a negative. Yeah. Yeah. So it's amen negative. Yeah, that's what that's what it should be. That could be very interesting. If it was, and that might be why there is a negative star. Probably not. Just reading into that. This guy. <laughs> Waters run deep. <laughs> Um, like I said, it does kind of smell like deodorant, but I don't think that's really a, a bad thing. No. But to me, um, like I've heard that people say this smells mature. Mm -hmm. And I can definitely understand what they're saying. It yeah. does kind of smell a little bit mature, but it's not the mature that I think an older man would like this. To me, this smells more dated, yeah. I think is the correct word. Hmm. I think older men would wear this and be comfortable in it. Yeah. But this smells more like... Um, something out of the 80s to me mm. than it does a modern fragrance, which is kind of strange, but I don't know. Yeah. I would, say, I would say more dated than mature. It comes, you know, this is going to sound really condescending, and in a way it is, but to me when I smell it, it kind of smells beneath me. You know what I mean? I can see that. Like when I first got into fragrances and I had, or you know, before I even got into fragrances and I had some level of respect for like Axe, you know, or body sprays and things like that, to me it reminds me of that. It reminds me of something that I don't know if I want to go back to. Right. I feel like I've developed and you know, my taste and all that sort of thing has kind of grown beyond that. So it's kind of like looking back in nostalgia in a way. I don't know. It's weird. Yeah. I see what you mean. Uh, to me, I think it's just that, that, you know, I want deodorant to smell like deodorant or to, to have no smell. Hmm. And I don't want to put on a cologne to smell like deodorant. Sure. You know? Yeah. And, um, yeah. So I don't know. But I do think it's a unique take on a summer fragrance because most summer fragrances again are what you'd typically expect. Yeah. Which would be just citrus right. etc. Fresh, etc. Very much. Yeah. And this is fresh, but it's a different type of fresh. Yeah. Um, and I do like how they use similar ingredients to make the opposite of Angel Men. Yeah. Um, and to me this doesn't smell cheap. Mm -hmm. uh, even though it is cheap. Mm -hmm. You can find this very cheaply online, different places like eBay and stuff like that. Yeah. It smells thoughtful. Hmm. Even though it's probably not my cup of tea. Yeah. Hmm. I like that. Yeah. I don't think I would have assumed, I would have figured that out. I like your take. Mark one down for the day. Right? <laughs> I'm Let's see. The Bang for buck. Um, on Fragrance Net, you can get this for fifty eight dollars for a three point four ounce, but you got it for like twenty five. Pay twenty four ninety nine on eBay for a tester, <clears throat> and you can you probably can't see, but on the back of the tester, it's marked as a tester. 
It's got the notes written here. I could not care less. That doesn't, that doesn't bother me. It came in a tester box, twenty four ninety nine shipped. So I would never pay fifty eight dollars for that. Yeah. At that price, it's a terrible bang for the buck for me. Yeah, I think fifty eight dollars is a little steep. Yeah. Twenty five dollars though. That's a good deal. That's a good deal for what you're getting. I'm gonna wear yeah, this. That's a great deal. Yeah, I'll wear this spring and summer, and we'll see how I feel about it. Yeah. You know, right now I'm a little underwhelmed, but yeah. you know, it is January. Or February right now, so we'll yeah. see how it goes. And also, I think it's also we need to know, we need to, to advise that when we wore this, it was warmer. Yeah. So we tested this not like when it was like 32 degrees. That's true, because most of those weather sucks. Yeah. So. I mean, yeah. So, <laughs> we, it, I mean, it's been a warm year down here Yeah. for uh, for winter. So when we tried it, it was like more like spring weather. Yeah. So. That's true. That's true. So we got, you know, we gave it a, a decent shot anyway. Yeah. Uh, did you get any compliments from this? No, my wife did. She liked it okay, but she she gave me sort of the same com comments about the right. smelling like body spray and deodorant and that sort of thing, and it almost having a little bit of like a pointless yeah feel yeah to me and her both like why yeah you know I could wear a cologne and it smell better than this yeah or more purposeful than this. My wife, um, she thought it was nice, mm -hmm. but it was nothing special. Yeah, it's so. a. I think I remember saying that it was completely unremarkable. Yeah. It's like, oof. Yeah. I mean, it smells good, but it's like, yeah. you wouldn't, I, I don't think I would know it if I smelled it with somebody. It's not going to be like, oh man, you smell amazing. Right. And that's what I want out of a, a cologne. That's why I wear cologne. Yeah. It's to smell amazing. <laughs> right. Um, you know, deodorant makes me smell presentable. Right. <laughs> you know, this makes you smell presentable. Yeah. And clean and um, safe. Right. But I don't, I don't want to smell that. I want I want to yeah. get attention. I want to I want to love how I'm smelling. Yeah, I think it'd be good for a young man though. Yeah, I do too. High schooler, I think could probably rock that pretty I well. I do too. Hmm. Um, let's see, final rating. Uh, three out of five. Yeah, because it's to me it could not be more of a median fragrance. Yeah, it could not be more unremarkable, not special, not bad, not great. Yeah, three out of five. Yeah, I'm gonna say three out of five as well. Um, I got the same thing. I, you know, there's nothing that I dislike about this. Yeah. But it just doesn't really, it doesn't really get me. Yeah. I don't see myself reaching for this on a regular occasion. I right. see me reaching past it for something that's more yeah. exciting. Yeah. So. Absolutely. Boo. So that is that. Another one bites the dust. Through <laughs> the, the gerbil. He's <laughs> <laughs> or whatever that is, a groundhog, or yeah. uh, I don't know what that is. I don't know. <laughs> Chipmunk. Yeah. Anyway. anyway, thanks for watching. Tell us how you think about Iceman, and we'll see you next week with another Theory Moogler anthology review. We'll see you next week for the Fragrance Brothers. Bye. Bye.